<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Hi, my name is Eduardo Martinez, and this is Miss. Hi, Sylvia Soria with U Haul. All right, so she's the owner of, a, of one of the owners of a U Haul franchise, right? I'm the owner of We Move Moving Company. Okay, so in today's video, the the reason why we're gonna be talking today is really to to help out customers to make okay. it easier for them to to rent a U-Haul truck. Exactly. So go ahead and walk me through a process. If I'm a brand new customer that wants to rent a, a U-Haul truck, what exactly do I need to do? Let's say you know I'm just trying to find out uh, pricing, or if I'm just trying to find out more information. What does a customer usually do whenever they want to reach out to a U-Haul representative? Okay, first of all, um, when they call me and ask me like, you know, how much is it for a truck? First of all, I need to know what size of truck. Okay. And then second of all, now why is uh you know looking for the right size truck important? Like what what because what the matter? price varies. Okay, so it's a, a price factor. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. the size of the truck, how does that benefit the customer? So let's say if they have uh, I don't know a two bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. um, what kind of truck would you suggest? What what would be best for them? Like a fifteen foot truck. A fifteen foot mm -hmm. truck. Okay, great. Okay, now. Something I want to add to that, based on my experience with the whole moving industry, mm -hmm. is that many times uh, that also helps. Um, you know, if they have a, a, if they're taking appliances, fridge, washer dryer, you know, um, maybe extending to a twenty foot truck would also be a, a great factor or a great idea, right? Yes, because just because you have a two bedroom house, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you need a fifteen foot truck. Because when you actually move, mm -hmm. you find more stuff that you have in your house yeah. than what you moved into. Right, right. So it's better to get a bigger truck and be safe than sorry. Right, exactly, because then you're going to be doing multiple trips. Right. So go ahead and talk to me a little bit more about that. So that's why you ask the customers uh, the size of the truck, because you want to find out, uh, one, the, the pricing, uh, mm -hmm. depending on what they're looking for, right. and also how much stuff they could fit inside the, exactly. the truck, right? Exactly, because if you get a 15-foot truck, like it's supposed to hold a two-bedroom, uh, two and you have more stuff than you usually do or okay. than you think you have, you're gonna make more trips and you're gonna pay more money because of the mileage. Great, okay, great, great, thank you, thank to you. To where if you get a bigger truck, you can only make one trip. Great, okay, so you're gonna be saving money on the mileage because keep in mind, you haul the way they do it, from what I understand, is uh, depending on the distance that you travel, mm -hmm. that's what they're gonna be adding to the to the cost of the moving truck itself, right? So but keep in mind, that's only in town. Okay, so that's in town, of course. So town. I'm glad you're clarifying that one. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm a customer that wants to schedule an out-of-town move. What kind of questions would you be asking or what exactly do, do they need to know? The same thing, except the mileage doesn't really uh, play a factor in it. Okay. Because How's wherever that? you go, they include the mileage. For instance, if you go from here to San Antonio, they give you 183 miles. Okay. Now, if you need more, um, with my... Um, experience here at U-Haul, uh, I usually give the customer more mileage at no right. extra cost just to help them out because I know when you rent a truck and you go mm -hmm. out of town, it's a big expense. Okay. So I try to help them in that way <clears throat> mm -hmm. as far as giving them extra mileage at no cost and maybe an extra day okay. at no cost. Great. And of course, it does depend on, on whatever other U-Haul you're working with because I'm sure they need to turn it in at, at a separate location and depending on what your availability is on the system because I know sometimes uh, the trucks may be pre-reserved before yes. they actually... Um, it, especially if you're going out of town, uh, this is an important thing that you have to remember is that just because you're going out of town, let's just say on Friday, that doesn't mean you could rent the truck that day or the day before. It's always important to do it at least two or three days before. At the very least, yes. yes. That includes because, the um, scheduling the move. <laughs> yes, because right now trucks are going by really fast. And So why uh, is that? A lot of people are moving. So well, here, just to give some clarification there. Right now it's uh, mid-November 2019. So we're at mid-November and mm -hmm. wh why is it important right now? The holiday the season? The holidays. Okay, great. The holidays. So who, who's usually renting a lot more trucks? Is it like the big corporations or no, businesses it, or is it, it just people in, in it general? It varies. It's, uh, it could be a corporation. It could be now with UPS or the post office. They rent a lot of uh, trucks from us. Right, okay. Now being, you know, c coming Christmas. So right. they're going to be tied up for at least two months. Yeah, okay. So that's why it's very important to, okay, so to reserve it ahead of time. I, I would like to add some value to <laughs> that. So if, if you're moving to a different location, it's going to be really important for you. Um, two to three days, that's uh, the, you know, 
the general idea at, at the very least call two three days ahead but if you know that that you already have a certain date ahead of time you know the further ahead you can call the further ahead you could at least make a reservation or in this case make your moving appointment you know depending on which which uh, option you're going to de decide to go with um you know it's going to be really important just to call as far ahead as as you possibly can mm -hmm. so let, let's go and continue with the, with the whole process okay so i call you you tell me the the pricings and and what's next uh, it's up to you whether you want to reserve it at that point in time and if you do, does it cost me any money to make a reservation if you pay with a credit card no there's no deposit required but only if you pay cash there's a hundred dollars deposit only on trucks on trailers it's a uh, sixty dollars deposit okay great so and does that apply for out-of-town moves or yes. is it just okay yes so it's Whether gonna it's be in town or out of town the same thing okay so let's say I want to find a U-Haul right mm -hmm. um, by the way, she's a U-Haul QR and um, investment, so in case y'all want to find her on Google, this is where y'all could find her. Um, I'm also going to be posting a link on the description below, where whatever platform we're looking at, YouTube, Facebook, or Google, or wherever else, there's going to be that link below, so y'all can find her. Okay, so, <clears throat> is the, I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought while I was doing that plug-in right there. Okay, um, we're talking about, what? Going out of town. Going out of town, right. Okay, so the the whole going out of town factor um what else can a person do to to prepare whenever they're reserving a, a moving truck or or what else do you think that a person can do what other options uh do you have any uh, uh for example if they're moving themselves uh what kind of dollies or, or appliance dollies or what, what would you recommend um that, that well if you're moving yourself and if you're moving appliances uh or washer and dryer you do need to get what we call an appliance dolly. Okay. That appliance dolly is the biggest dolly that we have and it comes with straps okay. to where you can hold down the, um, the appliances. Okay, so to give you a quick uh, look at how that that uh, that works, basically the appliance dolly, actually you have one right in front of us here. I'm just gonna flip the screen real quick. Here, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how to do that. I'm just gonna turn the phone. All right, that's the appliance dolly right there. Okay, that one. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, that appliance dolly though the way it works is that you're gonna put it right next to the to the appliance itself it's strongly recommended that you put a furniture blanket in front of it because when one uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the strap around it you're gonna tie it up to the back you're gonna tighten it up and basically that's gonna create pressure so that's gonna be held tight with the appliance dolly so whenever you're pulling it you're pulling your your appliance you know whether it be a washer dryer fridge or whatever else and it's creating pressure on the op opposite end with the with the strap right so with the furniture blanket what that's going to do is going to prevent you know major scratches damages or, or that kind of thing you know so just just to keep that in mind okay so what else do you want to let the the viewers know um if they're well, going to be getting working with u-haul if you do move um like i said we do have the appliance dollies if we have other dollies mm -hmm. smaller ones like to move sofas we okay. have uh the floor well, dollies. what do you mean to move like a sofa if you don't want to carry it you could put a sofa on top of this dolly and mm -hmm. you could roll it instead okay. of actually so those it. are the the square ones right yes okay great, great okay and we do have what we call uh, the furniture pads the furniture pads are the blankets to cover anything you don't want to be scratched for instance a TV you don't want it to break uh, any furniture that's you know um, valuable any valuable things that you don't want it to be scratched or broken or anything we have what we call furniture pads and we do rent those there's six of them in a bag and for five dollars um, five dollars for, away. for the furniture pads for six six furniture pads okay yes. got it all right so to, to add a little bit more to that so the reason why the furniture pads are going to be so important is because whenever you load your your moving truck with your with your items you're going to want to put the blanket over it now keep in mind you're probably going to put together let's say two dressers you know side by side then the fridge right here then you know whatever other items you're going to be placing so as the truck is moving your items are basically doing this so if they're right next to each other they're going to be doing this little number mm -hmm. and they're going to be pretty much uh, right. scratching in, into the, in, into each other so right? to avoid any of that you could put the furniture pads so okay. it could avoid from being scratched or broken now keep in mind inside a moving uh at least a u-haul truck you're gonna find some wooden beams on the on the side and you could use uh ratchet straps or whatever else to to pretty much hold to things hold. to mm -hmm. together to the side right uh, i mean don't tighten it up over tighten it because you might break the walls but mm -hmm. you know you want to make sure that that your furniture is nice and tight and it's not moving all over the 
place because I mean on top of the the scratching ding or whatever something else could topple over right, right. Uh, because there's enough space inside the the moving truck right. already so what else do you recommend a, a customer to do whenever they're moving let's say um, okay so they already decided hey I, I want to um, hey Sylvia is that uh, I want to go ahead and make my reservation uh, what what's the next step what would I need to do well if we make the reservation for instance uh, we set it up on a Friday right you okay. call me on Thursday and say you know what I have to change the date okay can I, I do that or am I gonna be charged for that okay okay one yes you can do that two no you will not be charged so what is the limit and when would you be charged you will not be charged uh, at all only if you don't pick up the truck and you decide to cancel the truck but you refuse you uh, do not call in to mm -hmm. cancel the truck and you don't show up after an hour of your time that you were supposed to mm -hmm. then you will get charged how much will you be charged I believe it's a $50 charge. $50 fee okay okay mm -hmm. so keep in mind guys in case there's any changes to your plans don't just not show up uh, because there will be a, a fee so keep in mind to make a deposit or to make a reservation it can be done over the phone with a credit card or debit card however that may work mm -hmm. um, or if you're gonna be coming in to deposit as cash it's gonna be $100 to make sure that reservation is there by the way the move itself or the truck um, and to give you a, a, just an idea on a 20 foot truck right a, a 20 foot truck if you're doing you know minimum miles you know let's say you're loading everything and you're moving a few blocks away you unload and then you drop off the truck so long as it's within a short distance it's not gonna cost you a hundred dollars overall you know for for the reservation mm -hmm. whatever money's left over you're gonna get that back you know from your deposit right However, if you do not show up to your to your schedule, uh, your scheduled date that you're or the time that you're supposed to pick up the moving truck, you know, a certain portion of that money is going to be held back because that truck could have been used for a different for customer. Else, right. right? Mm -hmm. OK, so let's say if I have a moving truck and I need to extend an additional day or two, how would I do that? Um, what what would happen or what 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 do i need to do as a customer in order to do that you need to call us ahead of time before you turn in the truck the let's just say for instance you need to turn in the truck at five okay you need to let us know that day before way before five o'clock saying you know what can i use the truck for another day can you extend it for me yes all we have to do is just put go into the system and extend <coughs> it and when you bring back the truck you just pay the difference okay so why is that so important for what uh, for a customer to <clears throat> to call you to to extend the reservation oh okay because if you do not call us and we have no contact we will go looking for you well I mean it's it's not just that it's also the fact that somebody else might have another yes. reservation right after you right so let's yes. say you're scheduled to turn in your your truck let, let, let's actually bring up the appointment instead of 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a customer is supposed to turn it in at 11 in the morning right right um, maybe somebody else is already already waiting for that truck to be turned in to them right so you all pretty much needs to uh, provide your moving truck to whoever else was next at in that the, time in the right. rental list so right. that's why it's very important you call us ahead of time okay Great. that you need to extend it now if you don't call us and if you don't bring it in by 11 and we already have a reservation we're gonna call you and say okay are you gonna bring in the truck and at what time because we have a reservation for you now, if you tell me at that time when I call you, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, I didn't call you, I need it for another day, okay, well, then I'll have to call somebody else to see if they have the truck for that person. Right, so let, let's say, I'm, I'm <coughs> glad that you mentioned that right now. So let's say that if I'm a customer and I'm calling you, hey, do you have a 20-foot truck, but you don't have one in your location, can mm -hmm. you help somebody find a moving truck at a different U-Haul, yes. and what, how exactly yes. would you instruct them, or how, how would that work? But the, how that works is that if we don't have the truck, on site on site on my location for instance i tell you do you want me to look for one for you instead of you calling each you call great awesome i could do that for you and we could reserve it with me okay you could reserve it with me with a credit card or with cash whichever but do, if it's cash you have to come to the office okay if it's with a credit card, I could do it over the phone. Okay, so how, how would that work? Let's say, okay, I want to make the reservation. Mm -hmm. I come here, but you don't have the truck. How would that benefit me? Like, what, what, what's happening? So you'd basically sit, handle finding the truck wherever it may be. Um, right. And just to put some clarification, we're in Laredo, Texas. So I'm just going to reference Laredo. Um, so you're going to be looking around for other U-Haul dealerships. Right. Um, so, yeah, right. U-Haul uh, dealerships to, to find one that uh, will have the moving truck or at least uh, the one that me as a customer I'm looking for. Right. And if there's any situations where, let's say, 
um, that U-Haul um, had to add uh, an ex uh, a cancellation or something happened, right? Mm -hmm. Something happened to a truck. You would be the point of contact to help me find a different location to find yes. a moving truck, and right? I could find it for you and I could reserve it for you. That way, when you get there, it's already reserved and you know you're gonna have the truck. Now oh. if you tell me, no, no, it's okay, I'll go look for one. All I can tell you is you're wasting time, you're spending time, Okay. because if you go and do it on your own, mm -hmm. somebody else can take the truck while I could have done it ahead so, of time. So le le let's put that scenario, right? Let's say <clears throat> a customer calls you and says, hey, I wanna make a 20-foot reservation. I don't have one here. Okay, that's fine. I'll start calling other U-Haul dealerships. You give them the option that you could drive with you. So mm -hmm. so you make that reservation for them mm -hmm. or they could call themselves, right? right. Um, and they decide to do that option. So then I call you and I tell you, hey, Sylvia, I, I need a 20-foot truck. Can you help me find one? I know you don't have one on location because you already told me. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you find it first while that other person's still calling all these locations, they're telling them no, they don't have one on site, or yes, they do, depending on whatever um, availability they may have. And then by the time that they find it, you already reserved it for me right. and saved a whole lot of time. Right. Right. So, quick tip: uh, whenever you rent a a, a U-Haul um, truck, whoever you call, they can help you find whatever moving truck you're looking for at a different location now keep in mind Sylvia she's so amazing she really helps me out all the time um, and and I know that we're working together constantly whenever I don't have certain trucks available she could help me find a different one in case I have different moves mm -hmm. uh, Sylvia here helps me w with finding a different truck and even if she doesn't have one um, you know I go to a different U-Haul location to pick up a, uh, the extra moving truck that I need to help me do uh, the services that, that we provide so so just to to um, I, I want to bring truth to this and to really just bring it out there because this is what I personally do. I call Sylvia all the time because she helps me out. By the way, we work together with so many other U-Haul dealerships in Laredo. There's U-Haul RNS, Cabello, Las Minas. You know, there's just so many, um, um, you know, U-Haul dealerships, Pats, and just everybody else. And, and they're so awesome in working together with us because by the time I actually get there, just, just to give you an experience about what happens as a customer. So I make the reservation with Sylvia, and then let's say I have to go to I don't know you haul or RNS or Pats or whoever, right? So I get there, I get there, I tell them, hey, I have a reservation under such and such name, and then they find my reservation, and then post pretty much all I have to do is just pick up the truck because I already left the deposit with you. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I really don't have to pay anything extra unless I'm moving out of town or we're moving out of town, and then there's right. a difference in pay, right? But um, the the advantage is that by this time, Sylvia already did all the groundwork, and pretty much all I need to do is get there, sign a few papers, make sure that I inspect the truck, and, and you know, it's, it's pretty much an easy transition. So right now that I mentioned that, inspect the truck, why is inspecting the truck so important, or what, what does a person need to look out for whenever they are looking around a U-Haul truck? Any scratches or dents that's been done to the truck? Because if we, if we don't check it, and you don't check it as a customer, when you bring it back, if I see a dent, I'm going to charge you right. as a customer for the damage, even though you didn't do it. But uh, you, so that that's the reason the protocol is pretty much for the customer before you take the moving truck mm -hmm. out of the location, do the inspection. Right. Um, a quick tip that helps me out is I get my phone, take pictures all around the the truck so I know what it looked like before, um, and to find out the the when you took the the picture, you click on properties or more information on on the picture itself, and it'll let you know when you actually physically took the picture, right? So that's a quick tip that way you can find out whenever you you took the pictures, just in case there's something that maybe I might have not noticed, right? So let's say uh, there are some minor scratches because of of branches, low hanging branches, and somebody scratched it, and there's already a black X. Mm -hmm. The black X, uh, what they are is they they pretty much represent wherever there is a pre existing damage on the on the moving truck. And the truck was so, already checked. Okay, so that means that if there's a scratch and there's a black X, it's already been uh, uh, inspected. Right. And in case I notice something, I'll let you know, hey, there's not an, an X here, um, what happens? At that point, you pretty much do whatever procedures. I need to go check it before you take it, like, it, like you said, mm -hmm. and I go place an X on it. Okay, Saying depending that on... the damage was already there before you took the truck. But by that, but by that point, you determine that 
whoever had the truck before you mm -hmm. did those kind of damages. Right. So at that point, you do whatever process you need to do to file a claim or whatever you need to go through U-Haul exactly. so that previous customers are responsible for the damages mm -hmm. and not the brand new customers, right? I mean, depending on how severe or how bad uh, the damages are, I'm sure that uh, that there are certain protocols for, for each uh, action or depending on how bad the damages are but you know of course it's just so you can protect yourself as a customer and not be paying for something that you did not cause you know that's uh, why it's very important that when you do rent a truck whether it's here in town and you just say oh i'm just moving three blocks away it's very important that you do get the insurance okay because you never know what could happen within those three block radius right you right. know so um but i always tell the customer it's up to you if you want to get the insurance but you will be liable for whatever happens to the truck, you know, if you do not get the insurance. Okay, so what kind of insurances are there? Um, I mean, what kind of options are there? Well, there's an insurance that uh, covers the truck itself. Okay. Um, as far as any scratches, dents, accidents, flat tires, anything like that. And there's a higher, you know, insurance that there is that... Um, covers your uh, your personal belongings right. so for example to, to add a little bit more emphasis to that, so let's say there's a leak on the top of, uh, of the moving truck and mm -hmm. because of that leak because it's raining and all of a sudden your your couch got wet or whatever mm -hmm. um, because there was a fall inside the u-haul itself that maybe you didn't notice because um, you know it's not you know visibly right. uh, you, you can't see it you know right. and you're not gonna get on top of the truck to look at you know <laughs> the damages up there if there are any um, you know it starts leaking and then all of a sudden your furniture uh, get get wet or whatever mm -hmm. that insurance is pretty much gonna cover uh, the cost of the of the yes. item depend and again it's uh, it may depending be depending on, on fair market value yeah. depending on the insurance side you know so so there are certain procedures to that but just to let you know about the options that you have to protect your personal belongings mm -hmm. all right uh, anything else uh, that you want to touch base on that the customer should know whenever they're renting a moving truck? What would be the best way, or better yet, in your personal experience, what's the best option to do to make it as easy as possible for a person to, to rent their moving truck? Make your reservation ahead of time, whether so it's important. a week ahead of time. The, the longer, the better. Um, make sure that... Um, you do have your location where you're going to because mm -hmm. we're going to need it. Yeah. And uh, your driver's license, be ready with that. Mm -hmm. And um, everything else. Just a phone it. call away. And there's just one more thing that I may add to this. Okay. Is that if you're out of town and you need to rent a truck, or if you're from here from Laredo, whatever the case may be. Okay. But you need to pick up a truck, let's just say, for instance, San Antonio or Houston. I could make that reservation for you here okay. instead of you waiting to get to san antonio or to houston and go look for a truck i'm glad you you mentioned that okay okay cool uh so let's say i'm moving from san antonio mm -hmm. down to laredo mm -hmm. and i need to bring a truck from san antonio down to laredo mm -hmm. but i'm in town because i'm looking at my brand new house you know looking all you know nice and you know just loving my new place <laughs> okay so what what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a, a hold of you. I don't need to contact a, a San Antonio rep, no. right? I mean, it's an option, right? But it's it's easier if I contact you directly because yes. again, you're gonna be making that reservation out of town. Right. It's not just limited to Laredo. You could pretty Make much it. call anywhere, corporate right. San Antonio, Houston, just, even out of the state. You just tell me, yes, wherever you need to pick up a truck, you could just call us and we'll make the reservation for you. All we need from you is to tell us your closest location to you know whatever you haul that's closest to where you're at that okay. way you won't have to so my so old house or the the location out of town mm -hmm. i would basically give you the zip code and you'd find whatever you haul is in that right. area right i would go to the assigned you home right pick it up mm -hmm. get all my things bring it down to to the radio and right. then drop it off with you right, right. or depending on wherever right. it was assigned to me and if you're off. bringing a truck or a trailer or anything that may be from out of town you could leave it at any U-Haul location here in Laredo. It doesn't have to be only where they assigned it to or where you assigned. You know, if I am the closest location to where you're moving to, you could drop it off here with me. Uh, the only thing is that if you drop off any type of equipment of U-Haul after working hours, you could get charged a $20 fee. Okay, is that new? Yes, that's okay. something new that came into U-Haul. So make sure that if you do drop off, 
okay. make sure that they are during uh, working hours so you will not be charged those extra okay so hours. let's say it's after working hours well uh, well, actually, let, let me add to that because I know the answer to this question. Uh, so if it is after working hours, uh, hours there's an app, um, Google or, or on your uh, iPhone or whatever. Uh, there's an app for U-Haul. You could download it, create a username real quick. And basically what happens at that point, the app, what it's going to do is going to ask you whenever you're turning in your, your moving truck and you realize it's after you know working hours, hours uh, what's going to happen is that you just report it right then and there, take a picture of the dashboard right uh, to enter the or, or at least you can turn in the truck yourself and that way they won't charge you the $20 <clears throat> but if you just drop it off you will be charged the $20 if we're not here right okay so that's a new policy that you haul is implementing it's, it's basically moving across uh, um, just everywhere I'm not sure where it's, it's already being affected maybe your location isn't or maybe it is you know it's a brand new um, uh, policy but basically the, this is already um, starting to happen yes. right mm -hmm. I've already seen it so yeah it's true yeah okay and well anything else you want to add to that? no I'm here if you have any questions mm -hmm. you can look me up uh, I can help you as much as I can um like i said make a reservation ahead of time so you could secure your truck great okay thank you so much so all right guys um by the way i just want to uh add a little bit more i work with selby all the time i mean she's the best honestly i mean we're we're great friends um you, you know even uh, aside from the businesses you know she she works with uh, or she owns a u-haul franchise i own the moving company but we're friends way before then um you know we have a great relationship and i know that sylvia that really does you know go above and beyond to to help us out so thank you so much yeah, i mean you're you. you're part of a huge part of the of our growth and our ability to work with other u-haul dealerships and just um laredo in general so guys um thanks so much for watching uh we'll catch you in the next episode please let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions for sylvia i'm sure she'll be uh, happy to answer like i said we're going to be providing uh, uh some of her contact information below or at least a way to to contact her and hopefully um she'll be able to answer any additional questions you may have and in case she she doesn't see the comments she'll i'll let her know so she could give me the answer all right guys well thanks so much and we'll We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Happy